welcome. So, uh, uh, we were discussing about synchronous machine, it has got a three phase armature winding, it has got a field winding generally on the rotor through clip ring and brushes you feed DC current direct current to the field winding to establish the flux and in the three phase armature winding it is also called armature winding it uh, induces voltage then it is the three phase armature winding which handles the main power and is, uh, so uh, henceforth uh, what I will assume this is the stator three phase winding and this is the field winding and you are passing some exciting current whose value can be will be in my control and uh, this machine I uh, as I was telling uh, last time that will be connected to supply supply s I will not even write s b s Cs and uh, uh, the this is the rotor field and it will be moving like that and so on. But if these three terminals are connected to the bus, these voltages line voltages is fixed. And if uh, this uh, three phase armature winding carry carries balance balanced three phase current, then also I know it will produce a rotating magnetic field is not if this windings carry balance three phase current and uh, everything is uh, now in place uh, this is the stator field which will be moving with a speed and everything of frequency f this speed is synchronous speed to f by p etc therefore both the fields this field as well as this field they will be moving with synchronous speed n s. So, machine will be able to develop torque and machine is said to be uh, synchronized with the bus this is bus that is there. So, we will be handling uh, this problem now the question is whether it is acting as a motor generator these things I will tell uh, subsequently. Now, uh, before that uh, how to model this synchronous machine? In case of induction motor, I told you this uh, uh, excitation current, exciting current, which creates the magnetic field, is drawn from the three phase supply itself, that is a singly excited machine. However, in synchronous machine, the flux is established primarily by this. DC current which is a separate source. So, it does not put any burden to the bus and we will see that uh, this is one of the very important virtues of synchronous machine. You can operate it at various power factors by adjusting perhaps the field current of the machine we will see. In synchronous machine you cannot do anything the exciting current is drawn from the bus itself that is all magnetizing current and magnetizing current causes lower power factor particularly at lower at uh, lighter load conditions. Now, <coughs> I will now try to understand about the induced voltage in the synchronous machine. See you first consider I, I want to know how this these are the stator coil of the machine a b and c each of n turns each of n turns ok and you have this field winding i will just indicate like that and it is moving with a speed say omega what is omega? Omega is 2 pi n s. What is n s? Is the synchronous speed 2 f by p, so much of r p s, is not? So, I will run this with the help of a prime mover here. 
it may be steam turbine, diesel engine or may be a DC motor in your lab. <laughs> anyway, so this is omega. Now, this flux will be moving and let us assume that uh, the, the, these things, this nothing is connected here, I want to examine. So, what will be the induced voltage? Induced voltage per phase, which I called E f, it will be this result is known root 2 pi f flux per pole k w into m, this will be the and at the what frequency f equal to p n s by 2, at that frequency this voltage is induced. How did I get this voltage? I got this expression of the voltage which is R m s voltages by telling that your B distribution is sinusoidal, who makes it sinusoidal distribution of the coil if you neglect harmonic. So, some B max sin theta is there, then if you move a coil a single coil is like this with respect to this suppose this coil is moving with a velocity v meter per second, then B L V V L V it is a coil single coil to B L V from that uh, we got ultimately this expression of the voltage. <coughs> Therefore, if this is B nature of the voltage will be also like this to B L V whatever is the B distribution this is the space angle theta it will be like that. Now, I will uh, in this case of synchronous machine, I will also try to look at this e equation from another point of view that is I will try to find out uh, or rather apply the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is n d phi d t I will do. Of course, I will get same expression and why I will do it, uh, it will be clear. Also, it is necessary to know that okay, I could get the same expression at least think in that way that uh, this expression can, was obtained from 2 B L V, then I calculated the R M S values in my earlier lectures if you see in the induction motor, I dependent on this one. So, B or E induced voltage, they are one and the same thing, the so far as the uh, nature of the plot is concerned, variation of them with respect to time is concerned. Now, what I will do is, I will go by Faraday's law, that is induced voltage I also knew, it is equal to minus n d phi d t. So, I start with B, I will calculate what is the flux linkage with the coil at a given time t and I will differentiate it take negative of that to get the instantaneous value of the induced voltage across the coil. What is this coil? This coil is like this you recall. This is the start, this is the finish of the coil, this is pi is not and suppose the relative speed between them is v. Now, I, I will try to use this formula, this, this is necessary to understand and also it will give you another alternative way to calculate the induced voltage in a coil. So, I do, I set the problem like this, this is suppose your B distribution fine. What I will do is this, this is suppose theta space angle all electrical space angle, this is B distribution and uh, positive means flux lines are this way, eh? negative means flux lines are this way, that is how we have assumed. Now, suppose a, a single coil is moving, because you know uh, in any machines all coils are identical. So, if I know what is happening in a single coil, I, in, 
I can always tell what is happening to some other coil. Only thing I have to find out what is the displacement of the second coil with respect to first. So, with that spirit uh, we would like to find out the induced voltage in a single coil having n turns. Okay. So, what uh, will be the thing and there must be some relative velocity between this field and that conductor. In this case I will assume this field is stationary and conductor is a coil is moving. What is a coil? Coil I will represent it like this by way. This is start, this is finish of the coil and it is moving underneath say from left to right. So, I will start counting my time when this was when the, the start of this coil was at 0 of this B that is when this coil was here. It is moving let us start counting time from there and let the speed in radian per second of the rotor be relative speed be omega. Therefore, at any instant of time this coil at a first uh, let us do like this let us I will take another page. So, I am telling this coil is here now this is start this is finish. You see the maximum flux linkage is taking place, but this coil is moving after some time this coil will come here a newer position this is the second position it is not here now then you can see the total flux crossing this coil now has decreased because there is a negative portion of flux lines. It goes like this then when it will uh, that is uh, uh, it further moves it comes here peak peak here then what will be the flux linkage 0 and once again if it moves further flux linkage will be on the negative side. Therefore, with time the flux crossing the plane of the coil is a time varying quantity and uh, the induced voltage will be changing like this. Okay. So, what uh, we, we, we are planning to do is this at any instant of time. So, I am drawing this once again and it is better I draw it, uh, it is like this. Suppose, the coil is any arbitrary position here and here start and finish which I have started counting time when S was here, this axis is B, B here. Therefore, uh, this angle must be omega t, must be omega t some time has elapsed and uh, let us assume full pitched coil this is pi and this axis is theta this this poles are there. So, the coil relative speed of this coil is omega omega can be related with V as we know. So, anyway this is the thing what is the flux linkage with the coil. So, what I will do this area minus this area I mean I have to do therefore, I am flux linkage I, I, I write it flux linkage at any time t at any time t what is this any time t? I have started counting my time when S was here at the origin after that it has got and I have assumed coil is moving. Okay, it moves it comes here therefore, flux linkage at any time t with the coil 
the coil will be equal to what? It will be equal to d max sin theta at any theta consider d theta here etcetera this we have done d theta. So, area under the strip L at d theta. So, B max sin theta d theta, but it is electrical <laughs> area is mechanical d theta into 2 by p d theta is electrical mechanical will be less and into length of the machine into radius at d theta into L is this area here this area I am talking about that. Too. So, R d theta into L no, this is R d theta this is R d theta into L. So, L is the length of the machine this is L, L. We, we know that I, I will go first. So, this is like this and this is the flux uh, linkage with a single turn coil it is like this B max sin theta. So, so flux linkage will be you have to calculate this whole area from what theta to pi plus theta. So, if you integrate this it will be B max 2 by p into L r 2 by p L r I have taken and uh, it will be theta to pi plus theta and sin theta d theta is not that will be the thing. And this if you integrate it will be minus cos theta. So, 2 cos theta it will become. So, it will become equal to uh, 2 b max L r by p into 2 cos theta this is theta sir and your phi t then will become 4 b max L r 4 by p b max L r that is nothing but flux per pole we know that flux per pole into cos theta. Therefore, induced I mean not induced voltage the flux linkage with a single coil at any given time and this theta is nothing but omega t is phi cos omega t. What is this phi? Phi is the flux per pole should I write a capital phi like this. So, that uh, with this this phi is there this is phi not phi max in a transformer. Therefore, flux linkage at a given time is becoming this phi cos omega t. Once I get that then I will apply the Faraday's law that is uh, induced voltage in the coil start finish potential of S with respect to S will be minus number of turns of the coil if it is not a single turn coil n d phi d t and if you do this uh, minus n this phi and uh, this will become omega sin omega t there will be a negative sign is not cos i am differentiating. So, this will become plus here and uh, that is it this will be the induced voltage time varying sinusoidal voltage in I street will come. And the RMS value of this uh, will be nothing but n phi omega by root 2 and this will be equal to root 2 and mind you if uh, this is for a single turn coil single coil I have taken root 2. Uh, pi f 
flux per pole n single turn. Now, if this uh, there are several coils connected in series distributed, then I will say for this machine E phase per phase voltage will be root 2 pi f flux per pole k w into n that I have to do then is not for a single coil if you know you know. So, this is the induced voltage that is fine. What uh, in fact uh, this expression is same as I have got from flux density. Now, why I am doing this? this alternate approach also is exploited, you will arrive at the same result that is fine. But one thing you try to understand out of this discussion is the point what I am trying to make. Okay, this coil at omega t equal to 0 maximum flux, flux linkage takes place and uh, so, or, or rather I will uh, just straight away go here. This is suppose uh, your uh, flux linkage was cos theta na, phi t was cos theta hmm. this phi t. So, uh, this was my B I started with and phi t I got flux linkage turn I got some flux per pole cos omega t. So, it was flux per pole flux linkage if you sketch it was like this this was flux this was B or E sin omega t c induced voltage is also sin omega t. B or E are same B L V that is why people prefer B. So, this is this red one is the flux linkage and physically also it will be understood at t equal to 0 then the coil is air flux linkage is maximum that is what this ordinate red curve ordinate gives you flux linkage. When omega t is equal to 90 degree it is 0 because coil will be here as many positive lines of force goes as many so many negative goes 0 and so on. Therefore, you can easily see that this phi and the E uh, can be expressed in terms of phasor with a 90 degree phase displacement. This is phi t and this and this together, this two. What is the conclusion? Conclusion is this phi t is leading induced voltage phi, this phasor phi leads induced voltage. by 90 degree. That is I could say that okay, if this is phi phasor your induced voltage must be here. What is B? B will be also here getting. So, and this is 90 degree. Therefore, in synchronous machine, I will try to draw the feather diagram with this flux linkage feather and D feather, because uh, that will uh, explain things in a much better way as we as we proceed. So, so this is the thing this induced voltage lacks the flux per pole phasor by 90 degree. Now, let us come to this problem that suppose let us assume now I have a synchronous machine. This is A, 
this is B, this is C terminals. <coughs> I will assume A B C phase sequence. This is the field winding and I will try to say okay, this field winding creates some flux linkage. <laughs> flux per pole, it creates some flux per pole and then it links A, B, C winding with time it changes. This is n phase, n phase, n phase and uh, of course, uh, this flux per pole I have a control. Some DC voltage is there, I will adjust this to adjust the field current, hence to adjust the flux per pole that is what I will do. So, it is like this and suppose these terminals are open circuited nothing is connected here nothing is connected now or you put it like this put a switch this switch is open it is like that I will connect a voltmeter here a per phase voltage. Now, if you increase this value and I f I, I can change by controlling the field rheostat in this circuit and uh, if field current is 0, you do not expect any voltage because no flux per pole because induced voltage per phase is root 2 pi f where is the prime mover speed p n s by 2 that n s is the prime mover speed root 2 pi f flux per pole k w into n phase is the thing. And this phi I will assume linearity one important assumption I am making assume linearity. So, that flux per pole is directly proportional to I f okay. and, um, uh, and this is the thing therefore, therefore, I can with these two things I can say that E phase is directly proportional to field current nothing is connected here no synchronization nothing a synchronous machine um, driving it by a prime mover say this way at a speed synchronous speed. So, that 50 hertz say if it is a two pole machine I must run it at 3000 rpm to generate 50 hertz. If it is a six pole machine generator, I must run it at 1000 rpm to generate 50 hertz and so on. Therefore, it, it will go and this voltage will be induced. And in the phasor diagram, I will say this is your flux per pole. Sometimes people write f produced by field current. I think uh, those things will not bother you much. I, I can write it phi f. This is phi f. And the induced voltage is here E phase and this angle is 90 degree and both of them are moving with omega speed because synchronous machine will only work when it runs with speed omega. So, this is time phasor. This phi f is also is m f, m m f, m m f and flux are in phase. Mind you b and phi are not in phase, b is a <laughs> flux density phasor flux linkage is here. So, so this is either field MMF or phi f flux per pole and induced voltage will be lagging this by 90 degree this angle is 90 degree. And this is called open circuit 
phasor diagram. Why open circuit? Nothing is connected here. Open circuit phasor diagram. What is open circuit phasor diagram? Run this machine, it is running as a generator with the help of a prime mover, I run it, excite the field widening to create phi f and this is what it happens and when this phi and i f is constant means phi f and i f is equal to constant because of linearity. Okay, we will continue with this. Thank you. Sir.